Welcome to the tutorial video for Inspire 3. In this video, we will show you how to use DJI Inspire 3 for the first time. The new cinematic grade aerial shooting system consists of the aircraft, Zenmuse X9 8K air gimbal camera, and DJI RC Plus remote controller. Let us first take a brief look at what components of Inspire 3 are in the package. Open the trolley case of Inspire 3. You will see Inspire 3 aircraft, Zenmuse X9 8K air gimbal camera and case, DJI RC Plus, remote controller strap, DJI Pro SSD 1TB, Inspire 3 foldable quick release propellers, pair, DLN's carrying case, TB51 intelligent battery, TB51 intelligent battery charging hub, AC cable, double headed screwdriver, USB C to USB C high speed data cable. USB-C to USB-A data cable. Documents. Activating the TB51 intelligent battery. Insert the AC power cable to the power port on the charging hub. Open the covers on both sides of the charging hub and insert the TB51 intelligent battery to be activated into the battery slot. Toggle the charging mode switch to select a charging mode. In fast mode, it can charge two batteries to 90% in just 35 minutes. Each battery pair is charged to 90% in sequence then to 100% together. In standard mode, it takes approximately 55 minutes to charge one battery pair to 100%. In silent mode, the fan speed is slow and it takes approximately 80 minutes to charge two batteries to 100%. The charging hub LED blinks green, indicating that it is charging, while the flashing speed indicates the charging speed. When the LED is solid green, the battery is fully charged. Connect the USB-C ports of the charging hub and the remote controller using a USB-C to USB-C high-speed data cable and connect the charging hub to a power outlet. The battery level LEDs will start to flash to indicate that the internal battery is activated. The WB37 battery can be installed to the battery compartment of the remote controller for activation. Remove the protective covers from the aircraft battery compartment and insert the two fully charged batteries to the compartment. The battery release pops out and a click is heard to indicate that the battery is installed. To remove the battery, toggle the battery release to unlock and remove the battery from the battery compartment. Open the DJI Pro SSD slot cover. Insert the DJI Pro SSD. The indicator on the DJI Pro SSD turns on, indicating that it is correctly inserted. Close the slot cover. The aircraft is in travel mode before delivery. It is required to unlock the travel mode and transform the aircraft to landing mode before first use. Press the power button a minimum of five times to transform the aircraft from travel mode to landing mode, and the aircraft will automatically power on. When the aircraft is in landing mode, press the power button a minimum of five times to transform the aircraft to travel mode. Rotate the lens lock lever counterclockwise to the unlock position. Press and hold the lens release button and rotate the lens mount cap counterclockwise to remove. Remove the lens cap. Align the red marks on the lens and the lens mount. Insert the lens to the gimbal camera and rotate the lens clockwise. Rotate the lens lock lever clockwise to the lock position. Press and hold the gimbal release button on the aircraft. Rotate the gimbal connector cap counterclockwise. Rotate the gimbal lock so that the lock position aligns with the red dot, indicating that the gimbal is mounted in place. Aircraft control button is used to take control of the aircraft and indicate the aircraft control status. Aircraft control button color description. Solid red, the remote controller is not linked to an aircraft. Solid green, the remote controller is linked to an aircraft with the control of the aircraft. Solid white, the remote controller is linked to an aircraft without the control of the aircraft. Solid blue. The control of the aircraft is locked by the remote controller. Blinks white. The control of the aircraft is locked by an operator. Press once to return to the previous screen. Press twice to return to the home screen. Use the back button and another button to activate combination buttons. Refer to tips on the home screen for more information. Go to Camera View in DJI Pilot 2 to view the specific function of these buttons. By default, 
R1 button is used to lower or raise the landing gear. RTH button. Press and hold to initiate RTH. Press again to cancel RTH. Status LEDs. Indicate the status of the remote controller. View detailed descriptions in the remote controller alert and indicator section or refer to tips on the home screen for more information. Battery level LEDs. Display the battery level of the remote controller. Press once to check the current battery level. Press and then press and hold for two seconds to power the remote controller on or off. When the remote controller is powered on, press once to turn the touchscreen on or off. 5D button. View the default 5D button functions or customize the functions in DJI Pilot 2. Flight pause button. Press once to have the aircraft brake and hover in place. C3 button. Use to recenter FPV camera and tilt down the gimbal. The functions can be customized in DJI Pilot 2. Left dial. Control the tilt of the gimbal by default. Record button. Press once to start or stop recording. Flight mode switch. Switch between different modes. S mode, sport. N mode, normal. And F mode, function. The function mode can be configured in DJI Pilot 2. Micro SD card slot. Used to insert a micro SD card. USB-A port. Connect to the battery charging hub for firmware update. Users can also insert third-party devices, such as a USB flash drive or USB card reader. HDMI port. For outputting the HDMI signal to an external monitor. USB-C port. For charging the remote controller. Focus shutter button. Press halfway down on the button to autofocus and press all the way down to take a photo. Right dial. Control the pan of the gimbal by default. C1 button. Recenter the gimbal. C2 button. Enter the full screen mode. The function can be set in DJI Pilot 2. Push the rear cover release button on the remote controller all the way down to open the rear cover. Insert the WB37 battery into the battery compartment and push it to the top. There will be a clicking sound to indicate the battery is mounted firmly. Wear the strap and unfold the waist support at the bottom of the remote controller. Attach the strap hooks to the handle holes. Press and then press and hold the power button for two seconds to power on the remote controller. Select the language. Carefully read the terms of use and privacy policy and tap agree. Connect the remote controller to the internet via Wi-Fi, then set the time zone, date, and time. After logging in your DJI account, an activation prompt will appear on the screen. Tap to activate. After the activation, enter the home screen. Time, notification icon, Wi-Fi signal, external battery level, internal battery level are displayed at the top of the home screen. At the bottom of the home screen, there are DJI Pilot 2 app, gallery, Firefox, settings, and tips. Tap DJI Pilot 2 on the remote controller to run the app and follow the on-screen prompts to activate the aircraft. The remote controller is already linked to the aircraft when it is purchased together as part of a combo. If linking is required, follow the steps to link the remote controller and the aircraft. Power on the remote controller and the aircraft. Run DJI Pilot 2 and tap Link to Aircraft to link. The status LED of the remote controller blinks blue and the remote controller beeps during linking. Press and hold the power button on the aircraft for at least five seconds. The aircraft power indicator will blink and the aircraft beeps twice to indicate that linking has started. When linking is successful, the remote controller status LED turns solid green and the remote controller beeps. The aircraft power indicator shows the current aircraft's battery level. Use DJI Assistant 2 or DJI Pilot to update the remote controller, aircraft, and other connected DJI devices using DJI Pilot 2. Power on the aircraft and remote controller. 
Ensure the aircraft is linked to the remote controller. The battery level of the aircraft and remote controller is higher than 25%, and the remote controller is connected to the internet. Run DJI Pilot 2. A prompt will appear on the home page if new firmware is available. Tap to enter the firmware update page. Tap Update All, and DJI Pilot 2 will download the firmware and update the aircraft and remote controller. The aircraft and remote controller will automatically restart after the firmware update is completed. Install the marked propeller on the corresponding marked motor. If the propeller does not match the motor, the propeller cannot be pressed down to the slot. Press the propeller down firmly and rotate to the locked position. When the red arrow aligns with the gray arrow, the propeller springs back. Then, the installation is complete. After the flight, the footage can be read in the computer directly through the provided USB-C to USB-C cable. After use or before transportation, remove the gimbal camera. Place it in the gimbal camera case and close the case. Press the power button a minimum of five times or using the app to enter the travel mode. Open the trolley case and place the following into the trolley case. TB51 battery. Remote controller strap. AC cable. Gimbal camera case. Lens carrying box. Remote controller. Battery charging hub. and aircraft. When storing the aircraft mounted with propellers, the folded propellers align with the direction of aircraft arm. Close the case. Thank you for watching.